good morning to everyone today we are going to discuss about meiotic cell division what is meant by meiosis meiosis means reduction division why it is considered as reduction division that means the parental cells are having 46 chromosomes means the daughter cells will have only 23 after meiotic division the chromosomal number is reduced into half in their daughter cells so that it is considered as a reduction division. In Greek word, mu means reduce. So, in this re uh, reduction division, nearly the chromosomal number is reduced from diplodic stage, diploid stage to haploid stage. Now, this meiosis occurs only in the reproductive organs. Testes and the ovary, when they produce uh, gametes like swans and also the ovum, meiosis takes place. One mother cell can produce four daughter cells. At that time, the mother cells are diploid in condition, but the daughter cells are having haploid condition of chromosomes. Now, the meiosis consists of two stages. One is meiosis 1, another one is meiosis 2. This meiosis 1 consists of four substages, that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. This is meiosis 1. So, then all these four phases are come under one prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, and telophase one. Now, the prophase one, this is the longest one. Before entering a uh, prophase stage, now the chromosomes already they completed their interface level. After completion of interface level, they, they are only involving in prophase one. Prophase one is the longest one because it takes more time. Now, the prophase one consists of five sub stages one is leptotain. Another one is zygotain, third one is packetin, fourth one is diplotin, and fifth one is diagenesis. At the time of leptotain, what will happen? The chroma chromosomes are clearly visible. That means the thin coiled thread like uh, uh, chromatids are contents and they are all changed into chromosomes during prophase 1. But uh, during the leptotin stage, the chromatids are clearly visible to our eye. Now, this is the first stage. The nuclear membrane nucleus is also well developed in this stage. There is no change in the leptotin stage. So, all the nuclear membrane with the nucleus are very clearly uh, seen uh, with our, neck, with our uh, eyes under the electron microscope or light microscope. And then, uh, these chromatids, they are all forming their own uh, chromosome because they are contents and forming chromosomes and then the chromosomes are uh, producing their sister chromatids also and uh, first one uh, this stage enters into the second stage of zygotin at the time of zygotin what will happen here i drawn only two chromosomes two types of chromosomes but suppose if the cell uh, here 46 chromosomes we draw very easily we can show the pairing of chromosomes in the second level uh, now homologous chromosomes are completely paired in the second stage that is called as pairing of chromosomes called as synapses. Now the synapses occurs during zygotin. How this synapses occurs with the help of synaptonemal complex. Uh, now uh, the uh, pairing of chromosomes means the same homologous chromosomes are arranged like pairs and then if 40 SS chromosomes means they have 23 pairs you can see. And then next one the second stage enters into the third stage that is packeting stage. This is the most uh, important uh, process because crossing over takes place at the time of packeting. So what is meant by crossing over? These uh, homologous chromosomes are uh, come close. In which they are having their own system chromatids. Now the non-homologous chromosomes, they are uh, counted at certain points called chiasma. At this point, they interchange their chromatic segments with their genes. So they the genes are interchanged from one chromatid to another chromatid. This is considered as crossing over. This crossing over takes place only at the stage of packeting. Packeting stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. And then, now it enters into the diplotin stage. During diplotin stage, synaptonemal complex completely start to dissolve. And then, one day the chromatids also separate. Chromatids also started to separate. But they are all contact only at their chiasma point. So the chiasma is clearly visible to us. Now, this stage, this, this stage shows egg-shaped chiasma. And the next one, uh, in this stage, Lambrush chromosomes also formed uh, rarely. How? The, 
when embryo develops they need a lot of nutrients for that eggs have a lot of nutrients due to accumulation of more nutrients due to storage of more nutrients now the dna enters into the transcription process a lot of dna uh, formed a transcription duplicated that so the dna loops form number of dna loops make one brush like structure that is considered as lamb brush chromosomes it is a special type of chromosomes it is also formed only in the stage of diploidy it is very important question competitive basis this is very important and then the last one uh, the final one is the diagenesis phase during this stage terminization occurs that means all the chiasma of ovaries completely separate from center to the terminal part of the chromatids now totally the chromatids are separate now the prophase one is the end so the nuclear membrane is disappear nucleus is also start to disappear so totally the interchange of genetic materials chromatids are clearly seen in this diagenesis stage next stage this stage enters into the metaphase 1 during metaphase uh, stage all the chromosomes are arranged at the center of the cell and then the centrons also produce spindle fibers the spindle fibers just grow towards the centromere of the chromosome and they attach with the centromere and now the chromosomes are attached to the centromere and arranged at the center after the metaphase 1 they enter into the anaphase 1 during anaphase 1 the spindle fibers they start to just a concept that due to that force the chromatids uh, are attracted towards the opposite poles so at that time what will happen the centromere splits into two so that the cytochromatids also separated so then the chromatids uh, one part move towards their that side another group move towards this side so totally two sets of chromosomes we can see here and then totally the spindle fibers completely consisted and then they are all contract and they disappear and then the last stage is the telophase 1 during telophase 1 what will happen the interchange of genetic material with the chromatids and then on normal chromatids likewise the chromatids will be in the daughter cells so in both poles now these chromosome cells are covered by nuclear membrane and then the nucleus is also formed likewise in this pole these chromosomes are covered with the nuclear membrane and the nucleus is also formed now the two daughter cells we can see in the telophase one stage now the prophase that is that meiosis one is over next before meiosis two cytokinesis takes place what is cytokinesis that means cytoplasmic division at the end of meiosis one two daughter cells formed then cytoplasm gets divided so how they the cytoplasm divides with the help of cell plate cell plate formed in between the two daughter cells and then cytoplasm is divided now this is considered cytokinesis then these two cells enter into meiosis 2 this meiosis 2 is otherwise known as mitotic meiotic division why it is called so because it is completely related to the term mitosis process we know that mitosis uh, division can produce two daughter cells from the single parental cell likewise these two daughter cells can involve in the meiosis 2 and then they produce their own two daughter cells so at the end of meiosis 2 four daughter cells are formed now it consists of four sub stages prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and then telophase 2 what happens during prophase 2 now the two daughter cells are having well developed nuclear membrane with the nucleolus but at the time of prophase 2 now the nuclear membrane nucleolus start to disappear and then the centrioles produce spindle fibers and then that spindle fibers also formed during prophase 2 now these are all totally enter into metaphase here there is no uh, formation of chromatids and all dna duplication nothing happened uh, during prophase 2 uh, directly these chromosomes enter into the metaphase 2 now During metaphase two, the spindle fibers formed and then they attach it with the centromere of the chromosomes. In uh, two daughter cells, in these two daughter cells, the same process occurs. So that the chromosomes are arranged at the center of these two daughter cells. So we can see this structure at the end of metaphase two. Then this structure enters into anaphase two. During anaphase two, the spindle fibers contract. So they uh, the centromere. Uh, just the centromere along with the chromosomes 
they they are all attract towards the opposite poles. So they these two chromosomes they are all attracted towards the opposite poles. So, so they they separated and they simply one chromosome move towards that side and one chromosome move towards this side. Likewise in these cells also we are taking only two uh, chromosomes uh, beginning. So they uh, suppose the forty six chromosomes means definitely here. 23 chromosome this side, 23 chromosome this side. Likewise, we can see all the chromosomes. But here only two chromosomes we have taken. So then one one I draw here. So these uh, chromosomes are arranged like this. And then the total is 20 fibers. Uh, everything disappear. And then next uh, uh, the end phase telophase phase two. This is the terminal phase end phase. So at the time of this process, now each and every chromosome uh, bunch is surrounded by new nuclear. Number in with the nucleolus, and then the nuclear envelope formed just around this chromosome, and then one new daughter cells formed here. Now these two daughter cells, now these are considered as two daughter cells. Now already one cell plate is here. Now, after completion of telophase two, totally four cells we can see, which is followed by the cytokinesis, that means cytoplasmic division. Cell plate formed between these two daughter cells and also the these two daughter cells. So that very simply we can get four daughter cells at the end of cytokinesis, and then we should know one more thing. In between two meiosis one and two, then one space is there. So that is considered as interkinesis. That is called as interkinesis. So this is also very important. So the space between two successive meiosis one and also the two process is considered as interkinesis. So at the end of meiosis two. Four daughter cells are formed. Now the chromosomal number. Yeah, at beginning we have taken only two chromosomes. I show I show only two chromosomes in the first diagram. But here each and every daughter cell is having only one one chromosomes. Now the chromosome number is reduced. Suppose forty six chromosomes means we we can see twenty three twenty three in each daughter cells. So this is considered as reduction division or meiotic division. So what are the significance of this division? So this is very important. The four daughter cells formed at the end of meiosis. Apart from that, this is very important because recombination also uh, here recombination gives a lot of variations in the young ones. That means that this chromosome and this chromosome is entirely uh, similar to that of their parents, but these two chromosomes they are having interchanged chromatic materials. The genes are interchanged, so the variation we can see. So it is uh, very very useful to understand the evolution also. So these are the significance of meiosis. Thank you very much.